Why does everything change when lights go out at midnight? Why does a simple power cut feel so different when it happens at midnight? And what actually happens behind the scenes when an entire neighborhood is plunged into darkness unexpectedly? This isn't just about light switching off. It's about the invisible chain reaction inside your home, your city, and your own mind. Tonight, we're diving into the world that awakens the moment electricity disappears. And before we uncover the chilling truth about what really unfolds in those first silent seconds, make sure you subscribe to Manufact, where we break down the hidden mechanics behind disasters, blackouts, and real-world events that affect us all. The exact second everything stops, the moment the power goes out, the world doesn't just become dark, it becomes unfamiliar. Your eyes struggle to adjust as the sudden silence hits before your brain even processes what happened. No humming fridge, no buzzing streetlights, no glow from the digital clock on your microwave. Everything that once blended into background noise suddenly feels unnervingly absent. These first 10 seconds are the most disorienting, and this is where human instinct kicks in. Your heartbeat rises. You strain to hear anything. You question whether it's just your house or the entire street. But this is only the first layer of the blackout story. The invisible citywide chain reaction. When you lose power at home, you think it's just your switch tripping, but the real event unfolds miles away. At the power grid, sensors and circuit breakers begin kicking into emergency mode. Transformers isolate faults. High voltage lines automatically disconnect to stop overload. Control centers switch from automated systems to human operators who scan rapidly blinking red alarms to identify where the fault originated. A blackout isn't random, it's a domino effect. And every domino falls differently depending on the time of day. Midnight is the most dangerous because almost no one is awake to report what they see. But as the grid battles the failure, something else begins shifting inside your own home. Your home enters survival mode. Though it doesn't look like it, your house instantly changes behavior. Freezers begin their race against time as temperatures slowly rise. Security systems switch to backup batteries, some failing instantly, others lasting hours. Wi-Fi routers go dead, leaving your devices confused and constantly searching for a signal. Even your plumbing silently shifts. Electric pumps stop water pressure drops, and in high-rise buildings, taps run dry. But the most overlooked transformation, your phone becomes your only lifeline, yet it's draining, faster than you expect. And that's when the real panic begins. The psychology of midnight darkness. Darkness isn't just the absence of light. It fundamentally changes how people behave. At midnight, your brain is already in a semi-rest state. A sudden blackout forces it into survival mode, making every distant noise, every moving shadow, every creak of your home feel amplified. Streets that looked peaceful minutes earlier now look suspicious. Windows become mirrors. And without electricity, our sense of safety collapses much quicker than we admit. Before we go deeper, Tap the like button. It helps this channel grow and ensures more people understand the science behind moments like these. What if it's not a grid failure at all? Most people assume blackouts are accidental, faulty wires, overloaded transformers, storm damage. But here's the twist. Not all power cuts are technical problems. Around the world, Midnight outages have been used as silent tools for cyber attacks, coordinated theft, political pressure, and in some cases, 
military testing. A sudden loss of electricity isn't always a failure. Sometimes it's deliberate. In several documented cases, criminals have triggered localized outages to disable alarms and enter buildings undetected. Governments have staged controlled shutdowns to test emergency response protocols. And cyber attackers have used grid access points to disrupt entire cities. So when the lights go out unexpectedly, the truth is never as simple as a blown fuse. There are far bigger forces at play. How cities defend themselves in the dark to protect millions of people, modern cities run a backup system that most residents never notice. Traffic lights switch to blinking amber or shut off entirely, creating dangerous intersections. Emergency services receive automatic alerts from grid operators signaling potential infrastructure failure. Hospitals activate high-capacity diesel generators designed to start within 10 seconds. But the biggest challenge emerges in residential neighborhoods. Without CCTV, alarms or streetlights, cities rely entirely on human presence, security patrols, police response, and neighborhood communication. In a blackout, technology takes a step back and human responsibility steps forward. But even with all this protection, the clock is ticking. The race against time. What fails next? Every blackout has a critical timeline. After one hour, freezer temperatures begin rising above safe limits. After three hours, backup batteries in homes, shops, and alarm systems start dying. After six hours, Mobile networks enter low power mode as cell towers exhaust their limited backup. Calls drop. Internet collapses. After 24 hours, the city begins to feel the strain. Water pressure issues, transport delays, fuel station shutdowns, and communication outages. What started as the lights going out becomes a full-scale interruption of modern life. And yet, there's one final question that haunts every major blackout. Why does power always come back instantly when it finally does? It feels like someone flips a switch and the entire neighborhood returns to life in one bright flash. But in reality, restoring power is one of the most carefully controlled processes in the energy industry. Grid operators slowly reconnect circuits one sector at a time, balancing load to ensure they don't trigger another failure. Lights turning on street by street isn't random. It's a controlled rebirth of the system. When your lights finally return, you haven't just witnessed a repair. You've witnessed a system rebuilt from darkness, and it all happened without you seeing a single person. Be part of the next investigation. If you enjoyed this breakdown of what really happens when the lights go out at midnight, subscribe to Manufact for more real-world mysteries, industrial failures, and behind-the-scenes explorations of the systems that keep our world running. Drop a comment below telling us the longest blackout you've ever experienced. Your story might be featured in a future video. And remember, the next time everything goes dark, it's never just a blackout.